Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to prepare some silane gas. For this you will need hydrochloric acid, distilled water and some magnesium silicide. As silane is toxic, you should not try this experiment at home. We start off by filling a 100 milliliter round bottom flask with a bit of our magnesium silicide. An addition funnel was then lowered onto our round button flask. After that we prepare some dilute hydrochloric acid by first adding distilled water to our addition funnel. After the distilled water has already been added, we fill in some 33% hydrochloric acid. You can see that there is still plenty of air in our apparatus. All of that air can lead to an explosion because silane is pyrophoric. Therefore we take some butane gas. Carbon dioxide as an inert gas isn't suitable for this reaction. Silane would probably catch fire when in contact with carbon dioxide. An inert gas like nitrogen or argon would probably be better suitable, but as I don't have any inert gas on hand right now, we are just improvising and using butane. Two minutes later, there should be little to no oxygen left in our apparatus. The glass stopper wasn't secured to act as a sort of pressure equalizing safety valve. Now for the fun part. Let's start hydrochloric acid addition. Upon contact with the magnesium silicide, you can see an immediate reaction. Pyrophoric silane is formed. Pyrophoric means that it will ignite on contact with air. If silane is pyrophoric, why isn't it reacting with air as you can see here? It isn't reacting with air itself immediately, because it is heavily diluted with butane. The smoke that is formed when silane is burned is actually just silicon dioxide, better known as plain sand. You wouldn't want to breathe in sand or silane. Therefore, I wore a respirator during this entire preparation. For a second experiment, I wanted to make a silane mirror. At high temperatures, silane gas decomposes to form elemental silicon and hydrogen gas. Therefore, as the glass tube is being heated, Elemental silicon or a silicon mirror will settle on the wall of our glass tube. To make the sand that is formed even more visible, I took a piece of aluminium foil and just held our silent flame beneath it. The whitish and brown stuff that settled on the aluminium foil is silicon dioxide. To show you the pyrophoric properties of silane, I tried to extinguish the flame using aluminium foil. You can see that silane doesn't always ignite, but when you turn up the flow of silane, it will ignite by itself, as you can see here. A 
I want to show you our silicon mirror a little closer. On the left of the glass tube, this isn't a silicon mirror. This is plain silicon dioxide. The black, silverish or in real life somewhat blue color in the middle of the glass pipe is pure silicon. On the aluminum foil you can see a really fine layer of silicon dioxide which you can easily scrape off. Now let's get to the reaction. What actually happened here was that magnesium silicide or the grayish powder in the bottom round bottom flask reacted with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and silane gas. This here is silane, SiH4. Silane is pyrophoric and when, if, when it burns, water and silicon dioxide will be the products of this reaction. This here is methane. Methane has actually a pretty similar chemical structure to silane, but the silicon atom is swapped with a carbon atom. If you like this video, feel free to give me one of these and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I wish all of you a nice day. Until next time. Bye.